Hi, this is Aaliyah with Advanced Test Equipment, and today we're going to go over Fluke Network's OFP2. When you first turn on the Versive Cabling Certification System, on startup, you'll see an overview of the Quad OTDR, and you can change the project as well as the operator. So for this test, I will be operating it, and we're going to do an auto OTDR. In the test setup, you can change the test type, turn on the launch compensation, the micro bend detection, the wavelength, as well as the fiber type, as well as fiber type settings. And you can also change the test limit as well. In this situation, we're going to use the OS2 single mode. You also have multiple other options for cables too, if you press the more option. Once you have connected your single mode cable to the single mode port, you can set the compensation of the cable. In this case, we're going to do launch only. Right now, the system is setting the launch compensation and it'll tell you the time remaining as well as the port connection quality. After that, it'll show you the distance of the cable as well as the pre-select settings of the launch. We're going to save that launch compensation, and then we can test. We're going to connect our original yellow single mode fiber to another one. And now we're ready to test our cables. And it passes. You can then save the test. After you save, you can retest your next cable or retest the second end. And it passes. You can then retest again or save this test as well. Furthermore, you can review your results after you test. Additionally, after you record your test, you can rename the project. In this case, we'll call it ATEC Test 1. You also have extra tools such as setting your launch compensation, the span, the real time trace the visual fault locator, self-testing, or the fiber inspector, as well as other maintenance tools, including the language, date and time, and the version information. Furthermore, you have a sync option, which can connect to your local internet network and upload your results to your computer. To view the integrity of your fiber, you can go into Tools, click Fiber Inspector, and it opens to a menu option where you can view the integrity of your fiber to check for any dirt, debris, or any type of splotches that might interfere with your test. In this case, this fiber is perfect, ready to go. There's no debris or covering over the glass of the fiber. You can also take a screenshot as well and save it to your PC. In the case that your fiber is dirty, you can use your fiber inspector to check it. If you notice that your fiber glass has any dirt or debris using your fiber inspector, you can clean it using an accompanying fiber cleaner. You click it a few times and your fiber should be cleaned and ready for use. The Fluke Network's OFP2 also comes with an accompanying software called Linkware. When opening Linkware, you can view your records and your projects that you have saved onto your unit. First, it automatically connects to it by default. Furthermore, you can view the stats of all your records as well using Linkware stat software. You also have Linkware Live, 
which you can connect signing into your Fluke Network's email login. You can print your results. You can also export to a PDF or an XML of your Linkware software. And you can also create a new project as well by clicking Record by Utilities, Optifiber, and then Project Setup or Create ID List. And that wraps up our overview of Fluke Network's OFP2. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at atechcorp.com or call us at 1-800-404-2832. Thank you for watching.